Don't tilt it. Is it all right? Yes. Okay. Why is that little thing? Oh, it's the recording thing. I've never been on that side of it before. Right. What am I talking about? Okay, question nine. Uh, the random variable, it's given by this formula, show that 3a plus 6b equals 1. Um, what do we know about discrete random variables? We know the probabilities always add up to 1. It was a little bit over the top, but I, as I always like to do, for these things, did a little table of values because that's how we look at the probability distribution. If x is 1, this is a plus b. If x is 2, it's a plus 2b. Or not. <laughs> if x is 3, it's a plus 3b. We know that all the probabilities add up to 1. a plus b plus a plus 2b plus a plus 3b is equal to 1. There's your two marks right there, because that gives you 3a plus 6b plus 1, which is what you were supposed to be getting. Now, given that e of x is 5 thirds, find a and b. Well, hang on, this is one equation that links a and b, and here they've just given me another bit of information. I'm thinking simultaneous equations. So if, uh, if e of x is that, e of x is 1 times a plus b plus 2 times a plus 2b, this is the expectation of x, plus 3 times a plus 3b, I've been told that that is equal to 5 over 3. So this is 1a plus 2a plus 3a, that's 6a, 1b plus 4b plus 9b, is 14b is 5 thirds. I actually felt that I wanted to see that all on one line, so I wrote that being 18a plus 42b uh, <coughs> is equal to 5. Look, there they are. There are my two simultaneous equations. How lovely. So if I take my second my first simultaneous equation, and I don't know quite why I did this, but I multiplied it by 7. Which equation 1 times 7. <coughs> Seems like quite a sensible thing to do, doesn't it? It gives me 21a plus 42b is 7. And if I then subtract, that gives me 3a is equal to 2. So I quickly get a is 2 thirds, which if I sub back into one of the original equations, well into that one it seems sensible, sub that back in to equation 1, 3 times 2 thirds is 2, plus 6b is 1, 6b is minus 1, b is minus 6. To be honest, however you solve these two simultaneous equations with entirely up to you, you could have rearranged that one to get a equals and sub it into that, or whatever you want to do. But that's that's that. Another great load of marks. That's maths. <laughs>